Hello guys, it's Shinkin Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video we have the review of the Aerocool Admiral gaming chair. Gaming chair, whatever, it's a chair for you to use, being it gaming or not, and we, and by we I mean me, I'm reviewing it, so basically that's it. Just before going into the actual review, just let me thank Francisco and Biomag ES, so Spain, for actually sending this chair. Uh, I have several products from Aerocool. You can see this one, for example, the Mars Gaming ML360 um, water cooling system. It is a really, really good price performance uh, water cooling AIO, so all-in-one water cooler. The Mars Gaming uh, CX Neo, you have the Aerocool Duke and so on, so you can watch these videos with links in the description as well. And well, let's not make this even longer and let's go just to the unboxing and mounting in a really, really fast paced 10 times or 15 times. I think, I think it's, it's actually, actually 25, 25 times. times. Doesn't matter, let's go. It's all about humanity. So yeah, it is finally done. So now that you've seen the unboxing and mounting, let's get to a more in-depth look. Aerocool Admiral is available in four colors. Champion Red, Ice Blue, Smoky Black and Azure White, which is the one I have. The base materials of Aerocool Admiral are polyurethane, steel, nylon, artificial leather and high density foam. The chair focuses on the gaming side of things like most chairs do nowadays and although I like the design I would like it even more if Aerocool just ditched the carbon fiber design and just used white and black leatherette instead. But that's just my opinion. As for the characteristics, let's start from the bottom. We have a solid steel frame to ensure maximum stability, resistance and balance. The wheels are made of nylon and are designated as 65mm nylon casters that are both durable and floor friendly. And they also make the chair pretty easy to move when you're using it, which is something that sadly does not happen for all chairs. As for the piston, it is a class 4 Biff Matesta that supports up to 150kg for daily usage. And there's no need for more because if you somehow wait that much, you won't be looking for a chair with these dimensions. Now, what dimensions do you ask? Well, Aerocool Admiral's back seat has a width of 55cm and 70cm alongside the armrests, having the bottom seat a width of 41cm inside and 55cm outside, being the depth also 55cm. To control the height of the chair you have a spring that can adjust the overall minimum and maximum height from 123 to 133 centimeters or 47 to 57 centimeters from the ground to the bottom seat. For a matter of perspective my height is 1.73 meters and as you can see I can sit properly. Although if you're over 185 meters, well, then you should be probably getting a bigger chair, both in terms of height and width, like for example the double XL versions. As for features, we have the 2D armrests that can be adjusted both vertically with 7 levels of height and horizontally with just one level for each side. We also have the usual rocking mechanism from 3 to 18 degrees and the reclining mechanism that goes up to 180, providing a comfortable moment to watch your favorite series 
or to do the so-called power nap, which I find myself doing from time to time since I spend several hours a day sitting in the same position. The rocking mechanism works by simply moving the height lever horizontally and the reclining mechanism works via a small handbrake that you have also on the right side of the chair. As for the comfort and ergonomics, Aero Cool Admiral packs high density foam for the bottom and back seats in order to adapt to your weight while still maintaining its firmness. Also the air technology to keep you away from summer's heat and two cushions, one for the head and another for the lumbar support. Personally, I rarely use the lumbar support cushions in my chairs, but I do like the head cushion in this one as it doesn't feel intrusive for daily usage due to how the chair was designed. The armrests could use some foam as well since although they aren't 100% rigid, they can make you feel uncomfortable after some hours of use. That's not a problem for me though since I usually put my arms over the desk. But I think Aerocool could easily add foam to the armrests here, even more considering the chair's price tag. Also comparing to my Aerocool Duke, the bottom seat has less depth, which is great for people with heights in between 170 and 180 meters, since in some chairs, when not using the cushions, you may need to move a bit forward in the seat if you want your knees to bend properly. Overall, the comfort is what I value the most in a chair, being it a gaming one or not. I mean, the chair's sole purpose is to make you feel comfortable, so the more expensive the chair is, the more comfortable and ergonomic it has to be. And I really like the overall feeling of the Aerocool Admiral. The bottom seat foam works very well and it is pretty comfortable. The back seat is also way more comfortable and ergonomic than most gaming chairs, mostly due to its lumbar support. Although I wouldn't mind if that same lumbar support was a bit more protruding. And it would be more ergonomical and would eliminate the need for a lumbar cushion. But well, the materials used also affect the feeling that you have when sitting in a chair. That will further lead you to the overall comfort. In that case, this chair features mostly leatherette with some parts using a carbon fiber pattern that is a bit rougher. Still, the overall chair feeling is very good and I can perfectly state that after some months of usage. Although, like I said in the beginning of the video, I would like Aerocool to ditch the carbon fiber design since it doesn't make much sense to me. As for build quality, the materials are durable and you don't even need to worry about wearing and tearing because even after months and months of heavy usage, there is not a single part of the chair that isn't as good as new. There are though some details that could be improved, for example, like some material junctions, but everything else, like the linings for example, is pretty much perfect. This chair also has some cool details with their branding, like for example the casters and the side covers, which are nothing special, but in my opinion they do make it feel a bit more premium. It's kind of a like it or hate it situation. Now let's go to the pros and cons. The pros are the good build quality, the comfort, which is overall very good, the rocking and reclining mechanisms and the adjustable armrests. As for the cons, we have the back seat that could have a better lumbar support, the armrests that could indeed include foam, and the price because you may find cheaper chairs with the same features and comfort. Well, it is what it is, it's the market. Let's move to the conclusion. So people, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this chair, if it is worth it or not in the current price tag. You can find it, for example, at $200, sometimes even less, like from 160 to 180. Depends on the place, on the country, but it is usually around $200 and 200 euros. And like I told you, in the, um, the pros and cons, this chair is really, really good. I've been using it for some months and it is as good as new, okay? The material is perfect, like the other chairs, for example, the Aerocool Duke has like two years and it is perfect. In terms of materials, in terms of wearing and tearing, it's perfect, okay? Obvious, um, obviously that um, the high density foam tends to lose some, some pressure after the, um, 
all that time of usage of course but it is still pretty damn great for the time that passed and the same applies to the aerocool admiral the high density foam is still pretty good even after this time okay so do i like the chair i do like the chair without any doubts it is a pretty nice chair it is it is beautiful it looks good it is comfortable, it has a higher price tag, but also the materials are way more durable. Like for example, my brother's chair, it was also pretty nice, but like after two years, the, the bottom seat seems like a, a wooden chair. It is really, really bad. And that's the difference in between getting a really good chair, a higher priced chair and a cheaper chair. It is what it is. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Thanks once again Aerocool, thanks Biomag, and thanks Francisco for making this happen, okay? Thank you very much and see you in the next video.